Hi, good evening. This is one tutorial which we will be working on creating a basic robot model. We will be using 3D Studio Max to complete the model. That will be the part one, the modeling. And the second part, we will apply some mental ray textures in Max and render a high definition image, high quality image. And simultaneously, I will show you how you can send the Max file into Maya and render and check the difference between the quality of renders so now sit back first view the tutorial for a couple of times and then start working on it so this is a basic thing the legs from metal so launch max pre studio max i'm using 2013 first using standard primitives <coughs> sorry <coughs> <coughs> basic some sorry infection no wrong. so create a cylinder in left view so whenever you're working in 3d modeling a lot of people think that they can start working in perspective view till you get confident never work on perspective view and try to avoid using perspective view when you're modeling but gradually once you get more confident on the subject you can use anything but as a beginners try to work on using the other three viewports the orthogonal viewports or is orthographic viewports so create a cylinder in the left view now if you check here change the color to some dark color where we can see the result and if you press alt middle mouse button you can tumble the object in perspective view click f4 to check the edge faces so whenever we are trying to model it see that we try to minimize the polygons so go to modify in height segments we have phi so just remove the phi i'll change it to plus phi rather than so we got this some structure now select this object if you hold shift and drag one side you can get one more object that's duplicate object try to decrease the radius and increase the height so once it is done come back to the top view select the first cylinder hold shift and copy I'll try to decrease the radius a little bit and the width that's the height this is all just a basic style so I can just move a little side create you can create number of copies I'll just create number three so we go something like this once it is done if you click on this icon this icon all the objects will be Viewed. So this one so make them so now create a box in left view. If you check out because I'm creating a leg, I'm try totally depending on the left view. So create a box something like this. Now come back to the perspective view. Now try to move it in one axis so that we can see that object alt middle mouse button select the box and convert this into a double poly there are certain things which you have to depend on perspective view so when i started the lesson i said that we should not model it in your perspective view the basic structures but extrusion and all the things we can depend on perspective view so click on polygon and select the top polygon if you scroll up insert click on insert We get this result click on take this is one thing which i feel weird now click on extra we got this effect now if you check out we'll get some like change type of thing now select this one insert extra take so to create more metallic style of structures 
if we simply use this basic boxes we can't get the real time reflections so try to work on polygon select this polygon I'll click insert I'll try to increase a little bit more and extrude this time we'll just extrude a little bit inside so I'll get some depth if I want I can just click on insert this one okay and if you click on scale try to hold Z axis and scale it down this will <coughs> create some basic effects so now extrude I'll move it pull it out so if you check here we got something like that. once this is done come back to the left view if you press alt w you can maximize the viewport so move your mouse cursor select the viewport alt w select this select i'll try to rotate it down like this and move it now if you come back to perspective view if you check here you can see it's going inside if you want you can just try to extrude you can increase a little bit of radius and the width once this is done come back to the side view select the big cylinder hold shift and move it here this will act like a knee and hold rotation hold shift rotate the leg and move it down here now come back to the perspective view if you check here we got something results like this I'm happy with it if you want you can start working on a little bit of adding more details to it apply this one insert and extrude this time it should go a little bit of inside that's it now select you can work on it select this object like this one insert extrude split just to create some feel that it is heavy metal or something now once this is done here we can see it's just a basic style so i just put hold shift move it with side decrease the radius and increase the height I need to move it like this. So. Now come back to the side view. Select the two objects, hold shift and move like this. So finally, we'll get something. Now come back here. <coughs> now create a box which will act like a foot. I'm creating a very good foot. So now try to increase. Work on here. Length. I want a little bit kind of length. And I'm on the side. Looks it's okay. But come back here. Add some width segments that I have got some segments here from some file convert this in into editable poly always editable poly it's better so go to components select the word is like this if you get some problem that if the point is moving only one axis if you press F8 you will get a free axis the same way Now we got the shape. Now select the front two row points. Use rotation and rotate it a little bit upwards and move it. You can work on it a little bit. Now, now come back to the perspective view. If you press G, you can remove that one. It looks okay. You still 
if you want to work on it you can select this one hold shift move it down so move it down here in the left view come back to the perspective view try to move it pull it out here we can't say it so you can play logically let's say i'll copy a little bit out and i'll decrease the radius so if you check here it's sorry. the same way you can select this one hold shift decrease the radius increase the height if you come over here you can try to work on a little bit here and decrease the radius a little bit it's a bit hard so place it here hold shift Overall, it's okay, it's not great, but press Z can fit the view. Now, select the leg and attach. If you check here, attach, attach all the objects, click on the option box. Attach. <clears throat> so, we got this one. 